Hi, I'm Lindsay, and this is your weekly news update from openmedia.ca. This week, we have a new CRTC chair, which has big implications for some upcoming proceedings. We also have a quick update for you on, yes, the Stop the Meter campaign. And I mean, how many of you have been around since that started? It's incredible. So for the next five years, the pro-internet community will be working with Canada's newest CRTC chair, Jean-Pierre Blaise. The CRTC, which makes the rules for Canada's broadcast and telecom industries, is run by up to 13 commissioners, including the chair, who make a good chunk of the decisions that need to be made for internet governance and for putting a check on big phone and cable companies. Necessary. Right away this year, Blaze will be hearing from Canadians and other stakeholders. And I'm just there, did you hear how easy it is to think of the public and not just industry as a stakeholder? Anyway, he'll be hearing from us right away about transparency around big telecoms costs and about national rules to protect wireless customers. These national rules will, in short, replace a mess of differing provincial rules, hopefully by building on them in a way that benefits the Canadian public and not by watering them down. And to speak about the other issue, Big Telecom Transparency, I'm going to first do a quick recap of where the Stop the Meter campaign is. So we wrote a blog entry about this, which you should check out if you have time, but the quick summary is that after Big Telecom tried to use their independent competitors to impose usage-based billing on all Canadians, so many of us spoke out that we were actually able to change the way big telecom companies bill independent ISPs altogether. But the fight was thoroughly complicated by the fact that indie ISPs and the public interest community are missing a lot of facts. Big telecom is keeping a lot of information secret. We still don't know for sure how much a gigabyte actually costs them, for example. And Canadians have been arguing that this gives them an unfair advantage in Stop the Meter-esque situations. It took hundreds of thousands of Canadians, including some of the smartest, most studious people in the country, to push for fairer competition and choice, when frankly it should be a given. So the CRTC heard us, and it's open to proceeding on what it will admit as secret information from Big Telecom down the road. It's going to be really exciting and really interesting to continue to push the CRTC now with its new chair, Blaise, to keep moving towards an open, citizen-centered and public interest-oriented model. And it's really great to be working with Canadians to get there. For the internet, this is Lindsay with openmedia.ca, signing off.